Hi folks. Hey. It's Tuesday night out at camp. Day number five. This be a special supper tonight. And I thought, I was just getting ready to prepare it. Start preparing it. And I thought, well, I got it. I might as well do a video, right? So, just so that you know what I got here. I'm going to turn the camera. Okay, I've got a Dutch oven. Got a Dutch oven here. I've got tin foil laid in it with some oil, a couple tablespoons of oil. And underneath, I have some tin foil that's crumpled up and layered on the bottom. All that does is is going to keep my supper from touching the actual bottom of that pan. Now here's what I'm having for supper. Cornish game hen. All right. Now, I took this Cornish game hen and I washed them up, got them all washed up. And what I do now, I got the oil in the pan. I set that Cornish game hen. in the pan I get to make sure I got it so you can see okay I'm gonna move this a little closer okay now what I like to do other people may have tried this but I know a lot of people haven't. I love this spice. This Tajin. It's got a little touch of lime in it. It's got a lot of spices in it. Chili peppers, sea salt. Um, dehydrated lime. It's hard to read. Anyway, it's got a bunch of different spice in it. And it's made, uh, I guess, down in Houston, Texas. But it's very flavorful. I like it on my burgers, my steaks, my chicken, Cornish game hands. So I just sprinkle a bunch of this on there. Nice coating of it on that Cornish game hand. Now, I just take and I fold this foil over. It's all nestled up in there now. And I put the lid on. And then I fire it up. Now you notice I didn't fire it up first. I'm firing it up after the Cornish game hen is already in the slow cooker. And you want that on a moderately low heat. You don't want it super low, but you don't want it hot. You don't want a big flame under this. These Dutch ovens heat up real fast. Now this bugger will heat up real quick and I'll cook that Cornish game hen for about 45 minutes and once the Cornish game hen is finished I'm gonna make up a bunch of these nor teriyaki noodles not a bunch a pack of them and I'll get my pot ready for that these only take, it says seven minutes, about 10 minutes to cook. So once my Cornish game hen is done, then I make these noodles. Once the noodles are done, I can pull that Cornish game hen out, put it on the plate. I can help myself to a bunch of these noodles next to it. And I've got me one excellent camp meal. So I'll see you 
once dinner's ready, and I'll show you what it looks like on the plate. And I'm just going to be sitting over here, makeshift, having dinner. Okay, I'll see you in just a few minutes. Hang tight. Well, folks, this guy is sitting down to his dinner. Got a Cornish game hen and teriyaki noodles. Oh, that plate's hot. Just steaming hot. For me, this is a very easy out at camp meal. You take a frozen Cornish game hen, throw it in your cooler full of ice, haul it out to camp with you, a pack of Nor teriyaki noodles, and all you need is a little cook pot, doesn't have to be big, a little cook pot, for the noodles, and a Dutch oven, or even a cast iron frying pan that you can put a lid on. Wrap this little baby up in tin foil. Bake it for 45 minutes. And you got yourself one excellent hearty meal out at camp. And talk about tender. Mmm. When they're cooked this way, oh, yeah, just tender. Oh. Just fall off the bone, tender. The breasts. Now, this knife might not look clean to you, but it is. That's patina. This knife's about five years old, and it's been used to cut every, everything under the sun. <coughs> With a carbon steel blade. Oops, excuse me. Carbon steel blade. Anytime you cut things with lots of sugars or things with acid tomatoes really does a number on it gives it that tarnish that patina no matter how much you clean it, it seems like there's always some left and it starts to patina your knife now i can polish this and get that back to shiny but um there's really no sense in it it's the steel that turns color it's not dirt Oh, tender, starting to drizzle. I hope the rain don't chase me undercover. Oh my goodness. Still awful warm. Mm. So with that, Stye's going to eat his dinner. And I don't want to put you all through torture. So thanks for taking along. Thanks for hanging out. See what I'm having for dinner. As I told you, Stye don't go hungry out at camp. I like to eat. So till the next time, cook something with a drumstick. They're great. <laughs> hey, you all have a very good day. Bye-bye.